Howdy you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new DC Multiverse 6 inch Alfred Pennyworth Rebirth figure from Mattel. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style we've been seeing with all the Multiverse figures. You've got that blue box up at the top, you've got the name of the character. The figure is clearly displayed along with the accessories and the window packaging. Off to the side you've got some artwork for the character and then down below you've got the DC Multiverse logo. On the side of the packaging you again have some artwork for the character and then on the back you have a brief bio in multiple languages and then down below you have a look at all the figures in the wave that you need to get in order to complete the Killer Croc Collect and Connect figure. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with all the accessories. Now the first thing you get with this figure is the right arm for the Killer Croc Collect and Connect figure and I will be taking a look at the Croc figure in its own review so be sure to check back for that. Next up for the figure itself they've included a serving tray and this is just a thin piece of circular plastic with a metallic finish on it, metallic silver. And what you want to do, they've also included things like this little glass, which is just a, a translucent plastic, and you just set it on top there. There's no magnet or anything, so the glass will easily fall over if you, if you move it, but you can set it on there. And then they've also included Batman's mask, so that you can set that on there, so you can make it look like Alfred is delivering you know, a drink and, and Batman's mask to him. Now he'll hold the serving tray with both hands, though he doesn't hold it 100% level. And if you move the figure at all, when you have like the cup on there, expect that cup to fall over pretty easily. But still, you know, it works pretty well overall, especially if you want to just display it on the shelf with him holding the tray and having the cup and the mask on there. And then finally, we get four different head sculpts with this figure, and this is probably the coolest thing about this figure. So first of all, you get the comic book base head sculpt, the Rebirth Alfred, that looks pretty similar to all the versions of Alfred that I recall seeing in the comics. And he's got the semi-bald head, he's got some grayish hair, and he's got the little thin mustache. So uh, nice detailing on that. And then they've also included from the 80s movies, the Michael Keaton, the uh, same actor played Alfred in all the 80s Batman movies, including you know George Clooney and Val Kilmer. So you get that head sculpt. And then we get the head sculpt of Alfred from the classic 60s TV series. And he's got the glasses, both the movie and the TV series versions have the glasses. Those aren't removable, but again, really nicely uh, detailed, looks like the actors to me. So I think they did a really good job with both of those and then this final one is another comic book based head sculpt it's the evil version of alfred from an alternate universe the out the you know, goes by the name the outsider so uh, this one he's bald and he actually has some uh you can see some uh, line work some scarring or such on the back of his head there and he's got like albino type skin and he's got some pink color around the eyes and the eyes look really good on that one so all four of these head sculpts i think look really good Good. Mattel really outdid themselves with these. First of all, here's a look at the figure with the comic book base Alfred head on it. And again, very accurate to what I recall seeing in the comics. He's even got a bald spot on the back of his hair there. So, you know, again, just overall nice detailing. Okay, now here's a look at the Alfred head from the 80s movies, the Tim Burton directed movies. And again, I think they've done a good job. One thing I do want to note, I do have some gray paint on the forehead of my particular figure. Uh, not that big a deal. And hopefully it's just on my figure but just wanted to note that but again i think they've really captured the likeness with the head sculpt now the body obviously this isn't the exact outfit that he wore in the uh, in the movies you know this is based on the comics you know, very similar but but not exact but still you know it's very cool that mattel decided to offer this type of head sculpt and here's the 60s tv series alfred head sculpt and again really good likeness the glasses look good. Again, those glasses are not removable on these head sculpts, but I think they did a really good job with that. I mean, whoever thought we would get an Alfred figure from the 60s TV series? 
And then finally, here's a look at the evil outsider Alfred head sculpt. Now, this is probably my least favorite of the four, only because that, you know, the head doesn't match up with the neck quite right because you've got the normal skin tone and then you've got more of that kind of albino skin tone on the head sculpt. A top hat would have been nice with this particular head sculpt as well. You know, again, it's a, it's a cool idea, but out of the four, this is probably my least favorite. Now, one thing I did notice on this outsider head sculpt, you notice on the bottom, on the the back of the head here you get more of a normal skin tone I don't know if that's on purpose or if it's just like the white paint has started to wash off on this one I'm not familiar enough with the outsider character to know you know again if that's deliberate or not but just wanted to note that now for the rest of the figure I think they've done a really good job so he's got the you know the coat with the tails and those are made with a rubber material the coat itself is a separate piece and you can see you've got some nice detailing with the vest that he's wearing underneath and then he's got the tie and the white collared shirt and you even have some like paint applications on the pockets there on the vest even though that's mostly covered up by the coat now the arms of the coat are sculpted on the figure so even if you took this off it would look funny but still I like the detailing underneath there with the vest and everything and then he's got the uh, gloves now the hands you know I like that they did this and they've given him the white gloves so that the gloves actually match up pretty well with with the Alfred head or the outsider head Head. it's just again because the neck doesn't match up too well um, that's my only complaint but um, you know they, he's got the white gloves on there and then he's got the uh, pants and you've got some sculpting detail and then he's got the shoes with the black and the white so again overall you know definitely looks like Alfred out of the comics now one area where I have a little bit of a paint blemish is again I've got some gray here on the pants looks like bled over but not a big deal Otherwise, you know, the paint applications on the figure while basic are pretty solid. So this figure stands just under six and three quarter inches tall. Here's a comparison of the only other Alfred action figure that I own. It's the DC collectible six inch Batman animated series version. And you can see the Mattel one is taller. Here's a comparison of the multiverse rebirth Batman along with Alfred. Now here's a comparison of the 7 inch scale DC Rebirth figure, the DC Essentials figure from DC Collectibles. Here's a comparison of Mattel's 6 inch 60's Batman figure and you can see these two figures really are not in scale with one another. Now here's a comparison of NECA Toys 60's Batman figure which is a 7 inch scale figure and these two figures scale much better with one another. Here's a comparison of Mattel's Val Kilmer movie Batman figure. And here's a comparison of NECA Toys Michael Keaton Batman figure, which again is a 7 inch scale figure. And then finally, if you're looking for something to put your outsider version of Alfred with, here's a look at the DC collectible 7 inch scale Owlman figure. Okay, now let's go over articulation for Alfred. You can turn the head to the left and to the right. It's on a ball hinge joint. You can actually look down pretty good and he can look up decently as well. Now one thing I do want to note is you do get a gap on the back of the neck there when you're having him look down. Not a big deal, but just wanted to point that out. And you really don't get much in the way of head pivot with this one. Now with the arms, he can get his arm out good and you've got good rotation there at the shoulder. He has a bicep swivel. He has a double hinged elbow, so good bending there at the elbow. You've got rotation with the hands and you have hinges on the hands, so up and down movement there. He has a midsection joint so he actually has an ab crunch type joint he really can't crunch down very much but he does have the joint there and then he can look back a little bit as well you get a waist swivel with this one with the legs he can do the splits really good you can get the leg forward good and you can do the leg out and back you've got a thigh swivel you've got a double jointed knee so good bending there at the knee and then for the foot you've got back and forth movement and you do have some pivot and you can rotate the foot a bit there as well and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. And I gotta say, I really like this figure. I think if you've been wanting an Alfred figure for your collection, this is the one to get. I love the comic book version. The head sculpt looks great. And then just the fact that they included the 60s TV version and the 80s movie version is just awesome to me. The outsider head sculpt is pretty cool as well, but I really love the TV and movie head sculpts. Now, the funny thing about this figure, while it's technically a six inch scale figure, it seems to actually scale better with like NECA's 60s TV series Batman figure and Michael Keaton Batman figure a lot better than it does the Mattel six inch 60s TV 
figure. In fact, this figure is really too big to go along with those. But if you have those NECA figures and you wanted a 60s Alfred figure to go with your Batman or the 80s Alfred to go with your Michael Keaton Batman, I think this will work great. Now this figure along with the rest of the wave has started to hit shelves. We'll have a full image gallery up at toynewseye.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And of course, you can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to all those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.